Hi, I'm Amanda Morrell, Personal Finance Editor for Interest.co.nz, and this is another video in our Take an Interest in KiwiSaver series, brought to you in association with AMP. Today I'm joined by Chris Douglas, he's the co-head of research at Morningstar. Welcome, Chris. Hi, Amanda. Chris is here to talk about some interesting new work that Morningstar is embarking on in the KiwiSaver space to shed some insights on the sticky issues around KiwiSaver, for example, fees, performance, and disclosure. Chris, just to start, for the benefit of people who may be unfamiliar with Morningstar, can you give us a brief rundown about who you are and what you do? Sure. Um, so Morningstar, we're a global fund research house, or actually we're a global research house. Um, we were founded in uh, 1984 in the US. Yep. Um, we've been in New Zealand since 1999. Um, we specialize in uh, fund research, uh, equity research, data as well. Okay. Um, and uh, we're staunchly independent, so we don't follow a pay for review approach. By that, I mean uh, when we go out and research fund managers or, or, or listed companies, um, there's no payment involved. So, um, so we can actually say exactly what we think. We can be very critical about fund managers yeah. and companies, and we, and we are. Excellent. Good. And this is good news for KiwiSaver, because I think a lot of people have some questions about what's going on there. Sure. Um, so what exactly are you going to be looking at with the KiwiSaver fund? How are you going to engage the, your research in this regard? So we've, I think when you look at KiwiSaver, um, we started off going back to uh, 2007 uh, with the Morningstar Performance uh, Survey for KiwiSaver yeah. funds. And we've been slowly building up a database of, um, of fund data on the KiwiSaver providers out there. Um, and by this, we've been starting to study the data, analyse it, get an understanding about the different, um, different providers that we have in the marketplace at the moment. And, yeah. and there's a lot of different funds out there, as, there as you know. Yeah. Um, so what we're doing now, though, is we're actually dipping our toe in the water and we're going to start doing qualitative, forward-looking research on KiwiSaver funds. Okay. Um, we're going to be telling our clients which funds we think are the best KiwiSaver funds, okay. uh, and we're going to be pointing them in, pointing them in the direction um, where we think they should invest their money. At the same time, yep. we're also going to um, you know, talk about funds where we think there are some issues. Um, where on a peer relative basis, we think um, some fund managers might um, not be as strong as others in, 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 the, in the peer group. Excellent. So a little sunlight is about to be shed on Kiwis every very soon. Yeah. With some of your other funds, you use a five-star rating system. So um, tell me, what's the criteria upon which you'll be judging some of these Kiwis ever funds? Sure. So the five-star the, the five rating that we have, or it's a, um, the star rating that, that we have at Morningstar, yeah. it's a backward-looking performance uh, measure. Um, it takes into account fees. It takes into account into account risk as well, and it's a bell curve. So it looks at the um, so you get a one star for the worst performing funds and a five star for the best performing funds. Okay. The, the the star rating we uh, we we think is is a, a very interesting performance uh, and risk indicator of a fund. Um, at the same time, it's backward looking. It can't actually tell you anything about a fund's future performance. Okay. Uh, or can't tell you a lot. It, it gives some some insights, but it's um it's pretty blunt in what it what it's actually trying to do. So what we're doing now from a from a fund research perspective is going out to the market, um, we're going to be highlighting the funds that we think um, uh, are, um, are the good funds, the funds that aren't so good, and, and we'll be doing that on a qualitative, forward-looking basis with a recommendation alongside it. Okay, and now I think before you mentioned there's five things you're looking at, is that... Can yeah, you so, so sure, so our qualitative research pro process focuses on what we call the five Ps. Okay. It's the people, the process, the parent, the performance, and the price. Okay. The price is the fees, the total cost of the, of the fund. Right. Um, we think it's really important to get down, have a look at who the people are who are running the funds, um, understand their process, how long have they been you know, uh, running this process, um, does, it make it, does it make sense, does it work in practice, um, we look at the performance, we try to get an understanding about how a fund will perform during different market conditions. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, uh, the price is also very important, it's not true, it's, I think when you're looking at the total cost that you're paying for a KiwiSaver fund, it's the, one, um, it's the one factor that a fund manager ca can control. They can't control what markets do in the future, but they can control the costs that they charge to investors. Mm -hmm. And in many ways it can really enter into the long term numbers if it's a, if it's a onerous charge. It can indeed. And so what have you found um, so far in terms of the um, willingness to cooperate in providing that information? Yeah, we've found, um, we've found by and large um, uh, some have been very good, some have been not so good, and some have been um, have provided us with, I guess, um, the min minimum amount of, of information that we like. Um, when you're looking at the New Zealand market, there's not a lot of regulation around the data that a fund manager has to provide okay. um, to the public, to the regulator, yep. um, or to research providers. So um, it's all about asking the right questions, asking for the data, and also asking for um, how, how we, the data is being used, and giving some definitions around the um, the rules that we'd like for the data as well. So it's 
um, it's been a bit of a it's been an interesting journey the last few years mm -hmm. to, to work with the fund managers. But I think by and large we're um, we're starting to see more disclosure, more transparency, and that can only be a good thing for investors. Absolutely. And right now you're um, there's about 34 providers out there, but you can't obviously probably survey the whole field at this stage. Who are you focusing on right now? Sure. So just as a starting point, we um, we're open to having every provider on our data database. So there's no cost to being on our database from, from a fund manager's perspective or a KiwiSaver provider's perspective. Um, and certainly we welcome anyone and everyone to be on our database. And if, if a provider's not on, on our database, we encourage them to get in touch with us and, and we can look to, to change that. Um, as a starting point, though, we can't go out and cover every single provider in the universe. Um, we don't have a pay-for-review model, so uh, you know, we just don't have the resources in place to do that. So what we're doing is we're covering the top eight providers by fund size, okay. um, and that's basically the six uh, default uh, KiwiSaver providers, um, and includes Westpac and Fisher as well. Okay. Um, so it's going to be, I think, just over 80% of the um, of the total assets of KiwiSaver will be covering by covering those eight providers. So we're covering where pretty much the lion's share of the money is. Okay, excellent. And any uh, dogs or darlings standing up for you at this stage? Not at this stage. It's always um, interesting. We're, we're just doing a lot of preliminary uh, work at the moment. Okay. I think I think when you look at the top eight providers, um, a lot of them are pretty clean. They've um, they've got um, processes that have been developed over many years. They've typically got stable teams, not all, but typically most of them have got stable investment teams. Um, and um, they're investing mostly in just vanilla asset classes as well. So you know you're not seeing too much divergence in quality at the moment. But I, 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 it's going to be it's going to be interesting to lead the cover a little bit more to get in there and actually meet the teams um, and do the full due, due diligence work. And um, you know maybe um, some interesting surprises might come. Up. Yeah, I look forward to hearing those results. Chris, thanks for joining us today. Chris Douglas is co-head of research with Morningstar, and he's going to be joining us on a regular basis to take an interest in KiwiSaver, and uh, he'll be back in two weeks' time where we'll talk about performance. I'm Amanda Morrell with interest.co.nz. Thanks for joining us.